what do we need to do to really start to move this human health, soil health marriage into a really big thing and bring, make it something that is completely international, a movement that reaches both into policy and education and academia and industry and community. Well, we can't start, we have to get out of our boxes. We have to start thinking in complicated ways. We have to start thinking that things are interconnected. And we have to start thinking that things are place-based. There is no one-size-fits-all solution. We, there really are solutions, a diversity of solutions that depend on the critters and the cooking and the culture and the, and the carbon needs of that community. We have to stop thinking like this. These are algorithms in medicine and agriculture that have really driven the way that we do things, input, output. One is for calcium deficiency and one is for nitrogen deficiency, and I can't even tell you which one is in a human or um, a plant. We have to start thinking like this. We have to start asking how expansively and really finding the gaps. These are psychiatrists at Yale who are studying how community gardening affects mental health. They need to dig deeper and start to think about how the soil health is playing a role. We talked about Stephanie and the researchers at Yale. What is the, you know, what is the role of soil health in what she's doing? This is David Kilalea who's studying how different varieties of wheat how their, how their nutrient impact impacts humans, how the different, and, and he needs to start thinking about soil health. This is a farmer in Sweden who's publishing his soil organic matter and farming practices as research reports next to his field. How amazing. He should start telling us a little bit about the health of that community. This is an article that just came out in Pierre J looking at the profits associated with regenerative farming versus conventional farming. Incredibly convincing. But where is the human health um, variable in this equation? And by the way, they, Pierre J requires that you put your data online. So it, the data is there. Let's start to work with each other's data. Here are those grapes progressing from soil to wine. How about the human health there? And finally, we need to start educating. So we have the language to be able to do this. We have gotta start at this age, or even younger. But here's a fantastic soil museum in that same community in Sweden where the farmer was publishing his results. They want people to come through that town called Yarna and learn about soil. And these are medical residents in Michigan on St. Joe's Farm, which is part of the university hospital, learning how to farm. And this is actually a farm school that we are holding next week in Picinus Ranch in California to teach farmers about soil health and ecology. And we've um, developed a soil health medical note for them to be able to complete. It's the same note they use when they're seeing patients, and we're going to have them start doing it for soil health. So we need to create these fantastic bridges between the health sciences and the agricultural sciences. And um, this is uh, another colloquium that we're doing next week at UC Berkeley that's bringing together people from health and agriculture. Uh, this is a symposium that's happening at Davis that's looking at a lot of these issues. Uh, Soil um, Health Institute is putting on one in October in Maryland. We're so excited. This is happening around the country. Uh, this is one that Johns Hopkins is putting on with the School of Health. It's slightly different focus, but that's happening in November. All of a sudden, it's starting. And this is my little cue to you as you start to get uncomfortable and start to have conversations with someone who might think a little bit differently than you do and might have a slightly different educational background or slightly different focus. Check the, out this common language I'm going to give you. Here's part one. <laughs> Can you tell the difference? between the soil and the skin. In fact, they have all the same layers, not just in terms of form, but also in terms of function, where the microbes live, how the nutrients are scavenged, and so on. 
or this one. The difference between the gut and the soil, not much. And in fact, all the same rules for keeping it healthy apply. Or this, can you tell which one is a kidney, a desiccated kidney, vascular system, and which one is a desiccated root system of a plant? The same function in many ways. Or this, on the electron microscope level, can you tell which is the villi of the intestine scavenging nutrients and interacting with microbes, and which is the rhizosphere of a plant doing the same thing? No, you can't, because in fact, we really are soil. Thank you so much. <laughs>